Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. This is the new generation of the Hyundai Verna right in front of you. It has a sort of a polarizing design. You will either love it or hate it. Now this is the key of the car. Oh, it's the same old key, isn't it? By the way, this is to lock the car. This is to unlock the car. This is to actually turn on the vehicle and this is to open the boot, of course. Anyways, coming to the car, you can see that they have gone bonkers with the design because this is actually the LED DRL which extends to the full front section of the vehicle very much like a lucid air meanwhile the indicator is not led yeah that is very much halogen this happens to be led sort of inspired from the creta this is the high beam which is not turned on at the moment you can see it gets front parking sensors the hyundai logo is actually oversized it's quite big this is the panel for radar for the adas functions because it's got a lot of adas functions like forward collision warning automatic emergency braking blind spot monitor reverse cross traffic alert everything is there in this car obviously lane keep assist camera can be seen right here yes that is the position for the same now you see here a little bit aggressive on the bumper in terms of design this actually happens to be the regular variant which is the non turbo of course and oh my god the hood seems to be very heavy here yeah quite heavy there is insulation there that is the engine this is the 1.5 liter mpi engine which actually produces 115 ps of power and 144 newton meters of torque oh my god that was quite the sound okay want a really cool fragrance for your car check out this awesome car perfume from involve your senses this is the involve one mojito lemon it actually makes me feel like i'm sitting on the beach chilling the fragrance is very soothing and refreshing very easy to regulate does not leak at all so this is amazing click on the top right corner of the screen to get yours now this car is wider when compared to before it is also longer yeah it's become longer so the wheelbase is also longer but in terms of height that has reduced a bit in fact if you notice lots of cuts and creases sort of all in slavia towards the rear section tire size here is 205 5516 diamond cut for the alloy wheels in fact the whole car has got a lot of cuts and creases by the way alloy wheel design doesn't look that impressive somehow it says auto here indicator works here as well and there is silver treatment on the door request sensor is only on the driver side you obviously get a sunroof which was then the older one as well shark fin antenna some design elements right there and when you come to the rear maybe maybe you might get reminded a bit of the slavia as well yeah now the indicator is halogen you see treatment inside the lights is quite impressive says sx for the variant verna written right here and this is the reverse parking camera you get rear parking sensors so front and rear parking sensors fessel can fingers of truth will hunt for the exhaust and the exhaust is hidden yeah and that is the towing hook of the vehicle 45 liter fuel tank capacity you get this sort of treatment gloss black finishing the boot is the biggest in the segment at 528 liters so the car is actually running on apollo tires but the spare wheel is obviously smaller and the spare wheel is running on goodyear tires tire size 185 65 15 so smaller size of course high mounted stop lamp let's actually get inside this is from where you feel fuel of course space is actually improved you can see there is much more space behind door pockets are large enough both sound system there are two woofers one at the front one in the boot as well usb c charging socket some storage space there magazine holders right there center passenger does not get a head and twin cup holders right here in the center headrest isofix child seat mounts let me get inside and sit and there is actually good amount of knee room and leg room under thigh support is okay it's not great it's not bad either so rear seat experience has definitely improved height adjustable seat belts as well six airbags standard across across all the variants and that is the dashboard design which gets a two spoke steering and a curved display for the infotainment system it actually looks a little different kind of unique i would say this beige is going to get dirty real soon but thankfully there is more space now let's get outside and get to the front so the turbo variant obviously has more power it is a 1.5 liter turbo engine producing 160 horsepower and the torque output is 253 newton meters which is quite a lot actually 0 to 100 km per hour in 8.1 seconds that's fast four way power adjust for the driver but height adjust is manual there you can see the pedals obviously you get slightly different pedals for the turbo variant stop start system traction control all those buttons that is the engine start button of course and you get one touch both for up and down for the driver side thankfully there is illumination here at least i can see that 
Now, first things first, I actually quite like the seats of this vehicle. It says airbag right here. The glove box is big and it also gets a cooling function. Meanwhile, you can see the cluster where it's telling me that the door is open, the left side one. So we are just going to close it. Hmm. Car smells so fresh because of this amazing perfume from Involve Your Senses, the Involve One Mojito Lemon. I can simply slot it right here. Yeah, fits perfectly there. This thing does not slide ahead or behind. This is very chill to mint to. Let's turn off the indicators. Auto dimming mirror. Connected car features obviously there. Light placement here. You get a sunroof as well. Let me open the sunroof. Sunroof is not that big. Okay, light at the rear as well. And it will slide more. Yeah, that's the amount it actually opens. Okay, I'm not going to test my hand right there. Here you get a mirror. Here you also get a mirror. That's nice. Oh my God, I get this opportunity. Why not? Yeah, that was so good. So, thing is that this is tilted towards the driver. Physical handbrake, but no, physical handbrake is not there in the turbo variant. It gets an electric parking brake. Drive mode selector. This is for the camera. And this is for the parking sensors. This is the automatic, of course. It also comes with a six-speed manual. Turbo gets a seven-speed automatic. This is actually the CVT. Wireless charging pad, USB-C and 12-volt charging socket, a regular USB charging socket. This is cooling function yeah it also gets heating function so it's there for both the front seats now this is something which is very interesting what this is just an air conditioning system right of course but you can actually switch it between various functions for this screen you can see it's saying radio track map navigation and then if i press it it becomes for the air conditioning so very nicely thought out feature from hyundai for sure 10.25 in screen 10.25 in screen this is obviously slick to operate like other Hyundai screens as well. You get the usual bits which you get in other Hyundai screens. There's Blue Link, there's Quiet Mode, there's Valley Mode. There's also nature sounds you can hear if you want to. You can also record a voice memo. Kind of nice. Let me actually press the camera button. This is the reverse parking camera. Yeah, it has got adaptive guidelines. Front and rear parking sensors, obviously it has that as well. Quality of the screen is very nice. And these are actually the controls for, yeah, it says battery discharge warning. Let it discharge because it already discharged the other cars. These are the controls for the audio system. These are the controls for ADAS functions, obviously, lane keep assist and all that. This cluster looks quite nice, but the problem is that I can't really see it. So I have to actually remove this sheet. Yeah, now you can see it properly. Now, if you notice one thing, it is similar to the other clusters we've seen in Hyundai Kia cars. So nothing new here. And if I change the drive mode, the cluster will also change. So Eco, Normal and Sport are the three modes available right here. And it is telling me there, what's the distance to empty the regular one and nothing different as such to talk about. Two spoke steering wheel feels nice to hold the horn. Yeah, horn is the regular Hyundai horn, nothing great there. Blind spot assist uh, warning light is there. Let's actually use the wipers, decent wipers. So as I see it, the design elements have changed. The car has more features in terms of safety. It's got six airbags. But what about the pricing? Well, Hyundai has actually priced this car from 10.8 lakhs all the way to 17.4 lakhs. X showroom. And these are introductory prices. So obviously the prices will go up. But the turbo variant is actually having... I'll tell you two couple of things changed in the turbo variant. Firstly, it has got black colored alloy wheels. And it has got rear disc as well. Rear disc is not offered in the regular variant. And shockingly, Hyundai has actually discontinued the diesel. It's not like they had thrown the diesel engine away and it did not comply with RD norms, which is the real driving emission norms, because the RD norms, uh, they are complying with the RD norms for the diesel engine, which is used in the Creta, in the Alcazar, in those cars. So they've just removed diesel from the one, thinking that the segment is dying in terms of diesel engine. So that's a bit of a bummer. But don't you think there's a bit of aura vibe in this, a bit of Slavia vibe in this as well? Or let me know how do you like this car. I think it's quite good. It's become practical now because finally we've got some rear seat space. But that said, I honestly feel a diesel engine would be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That's a like button and also subscribe to the channel. If you want me to show something specific here, I've already shown you. Same screen, nothing new. So Hyundai is using all the parts and putting them in various cars, of course. Don't forget to check out this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. The Involve One Moito Lemon. Bye-bye.